speaking of Thane and the Navi Mumbai market, we've just covered both are facing quite a bit of water crisis. Authorities are slashing water supply to the area by half or they have actually slashed it to half in order to cope. Now, what's really at fault? Decades of water mismanagement and extremely high dependence on monsoons, which has left the MMR region at risk of facing water riots. We all know what's happening in Maharashtra in the interiors. There's an absolute drought there. Is there a way out of this mess and should the solution start from us, the common people? Nikhil Narayan Sivdas has this report. The residents of Tani and Navi Mumbai are up in arms. The water supply to the region has been cut, with several areas only receiving water once every 60 hours. TMC has arranged only 12 to 14 tankers for the populations of 8 lakhs. So hardly if you will go for the tankers, then you will barely get one tanker in a month. The lakes that supply the city with water have only about three months of supply left. Local authorities are already implementing various measures, including digging another 150 bore wells across the region, imposing 40 to 60 percent water cuts on industrial zones, and even deploying police across housing societies to ensure that fights over water don't take place. But experts say these measures are not a long term solution. If you look at uh, the volume required for flushing and washing cars and gardening, it comes to more than 50%. So if we were able to, or if we had been recycling, reusing our used water, we wouldn't have arrived at this situation today. We would have had 50% demand reduction. And it is high time the government pays note. Almost every year, the MMR region sees water levels falling ever lower. No modern government can depend solely on the monsoons to provide for the population. If this continues, it will drive demand away from affordable property markets like Nabi Mumbai and Thane. Chief Minister Devin Rifadnavis has recognized the problem. Now we are uh, heading towards a solution where we would try to reuse the water from all these municipal corporations, have a tertiary treatment on it, and we would like to give that water to the industries. At the same time, uh, we are also thinking of uh, uh, working on desalination of water. In the meantime, several housing societies are taking matters into their own hands by employing simple but effective water recycling and harvesting systems. There are three tanks, one, two, three, and then it treated water is fed into the filter to take away whatever uh, uh, coloration, etc., sediments and all that. Uh, this can be used in the flush line. It can be used for all secondary applications. Cost of treatment comes to about 2 rupees uh, or so per 1,000 litres. BMC charges us 4 rupees plus cess plus all that. And uh, tanker cost is obviously 60, 70, 80 rupees per 1,000 litres. While the government works on long-term measures, it's steps like these that can help. Ensure that your society or housing complex installs water recycling and rainwater harvesting tools so that you too can reuse water. A small investment now could save you more parched days in the future. From Mumbai, Nikhil Narayan Shuddhas, NDTV.